Hello and welcome to One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sian Burgate B, and it is Monday, and it's uh, time for Blast Off Monday, but this is like a busted Blast Off Monday because this blaster box is in rough shape. Uh, we'll talk about why in a, in a little bit, but if you missed any previous Blast Off Monday videos, head up there, check it out. There should be a little playlist button right there, uh, or you can go search the channel page and find whatever specific year or product or sport or whatever you might be looking for, uh, and then also hit that thumbs up, like the video. Actually, hit that subscribe button as well to turn on the notifications. Hit the thumbs up, like the video, hit that share button, share this with everyone you know. Head on down to the comments and um, if you ever found like a really messed up blaster box and found really something good out of it, I know there's like this weird thing online. It's like, oh, the, most, the smashed up boxes have the best stuff in them. I don't know if there's any any truth to that. There probably isn't, uh, but I'm sure it has happened. Um, and then check out the links in the description for all my other internet stuff, eBay, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. So we got 2019 Gypsy Queen Blaster Box. There are seven packs plus one bonus pack of exclusive parallel uh, 47 cards, total cards per box. Now, 2019 Gypsy Queen, not the best because it came out pretty early in the year and doesn't have uh, the good rookies from what I recall. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure like Alonzo, Tatis, Guerrero aren't in this. Um... But uh, you might be asking yourself, what happened to this box? What is going on? What What's the deal? Well, if you remember, if you've been on with the channel for a while, and if you haven't, uh, welcome aboard, and I'll explain what happened. So last summer, uh, ridiculous rainstorm, like the worst rainstorm ever, um, pretty much at at my house. Um, and I store where I store my cards, uh, um has never flooded ever in the history of owning this house in my in the family and we've had it for a long 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 time uh it flooded the garage uh where i keep the garage is never flooded ever basement yes that's why i don't put anything in the basement put it in the garage garage never flooded until last year so a couple of the boxes that had a lot of uh some stuff in it the boxes got like wrecked and then some of the boxes in those boxes kind of got wrecked um, not, a, not all of them, just a few of them that, I, you know, I'm, for the most part, I have everything up on stuff. And for whatever reason, this, there was a, two or three boxes that I didn't dumb stupidly, not imagining it's going to flood, but you know, just in general, uh, want to keep the grime and stuff off of it. But for whatever reason, I ran out of kind of space and hadn't shuffled things around, just kind of threw them in there, whatever. So yeah, but so far of the stuff we've opened, um, has had some sort of damage to it. Uh, the packs themselves have been fine, and the cards have been okay. This is one of the worst ones, so I'm a little bit worried that there's going to be some damage to these cards. Um, there's a couple other heritage, or I think, or was it, no, archives, I think, um, that look similar to this we haven't got to. We did open one of them that was kind of bad, but there's worse ones that I haven't opened yet, but, uh, all right, we'll see. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully every, all the cards are okay. Um, uh, and it's just the box that's messed up, but, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't know. If any, if any of them are going to be messed up, this one would be, like, uh, this is one of the ones that would definitely be, like, really messed up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, I don't know. It could just be a pile of mush in here, to be quite honest with you. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to find out. Because it's, like, not only did, like, the box just got wet but then it just got kind of crushed um packs look okay the packs look okay so we might be over all right so so far i haven't had any issues um so let's get into it we'll save the exclusive parallels for the end um again you know the big rookies from 2019 aren't in this set. i don't think they are if i remember correctly so i mean we're just looking for other stars and stuff but we got Luis. Uh, Guillaume, Guillaume, I can't read. Um, Francisco Lindor, Aaron Judge, always a nice one. I know there's like weird parallels and uh, variations of these cards, so bear with me if I miss anything cool. Uh, Kendris Morales, we got Miguel and Duhar, and Mookie Betts. Cards seem okay. Um, they seem all right. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing too many issues there. Um, I guess the biggest rookie that might be in this is Kyle Tucker, I, I, I suppose. 
uh, Yamir Candelario, we got Lou Trevino, uh, Jose Berrios, Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer, uh, Christian Stewart, and Chance Adams. Oh, am I missing the rookies? I just noticed that's the rookie a logo there. It's a little hard to see, but I didn't notice it on any of these other ones. I don't think any of these guys are rookies. Oh, yes, Luis Guillarami, or however you say his name, is a rookie. Yeah, that's a subtle rookie logo in the on these, huh? Very easy to miss. But also, like, second-year Shohei cards, I suppose, in here, right? We've got Luis uh, Urias, rookie. Tucker Barnhart. Uh, Sean Newcomb. Anthony Rendon. Rudnet Odor. And Carlos Rendon. Carlos Rodon. That, that's weird to get a Rendon and a Rodon. Never mind, let's just move on. Um, yeah, so cards seem okay. So that's good. That's a good sign. Um, good sign for the other boxes that are just as messed up as this as well. That hopefully everything has survived, uh, seemingly. Dakota Rizzi, Ryan McMahon. Uh, we got um, Justin Verlander. Then we got uh, Tim Beckham. King of Swords, uh, Giancarlo Stanton, Tarot of the Diamond card there. And Nick Williams round things out. Pack. Of course, there's always a chance at autographs and stuff, but I doubt it. But you never know. Tyler Austin, Zach Goodley, Marcus Semyon, Andrew McCutcheon, Mac Kepler, and Kyle Wright, rookie. All right, two more regular packs, and then we got that bonus pack coming up your way. My way, everyone's way. Daniel Ponce de Leon, rookie. Got Zach Greinke, uh, Brett Phillips, Chris Sale, Tanner Rourke, and Zach Wheeler. Round things out. And that pack, and then our final regular pack. Before we get the Sousa Parallels... Uh, are those the green ones? I can't remember. Mike Clevenger, Joey Votto, we got Ender and and Kiarte, Dakota Hudson rookie. We got a fortune teller uh, for Blake Snell, and then we got Javier Baez rounding things out there. And if I missed any sort of weird variation, let me know because I didn't notice anything. Um, and I know there's like short prints, but so maybe the Roberto Alomar is because I feel like the short prints are going to be like Hall of Famers and stuff. Um, yeah, that's 302. I think anything over 300 is a short print. So I think that Roberto Alomar is a short print. I don't know what just happened outside. <laughs> uh, all right, five exclusive parallel cards inside. Uh, I think these are the green ones. Yeah, yep, the greens. Trey Turner, Ryan Barucki, rookie card, you Darvish. Carlos Correa and Jake Lamb. So, luckily, none of these cards were damaged. Unluckily, there wasn't much to there wasn't much to talk about. So, uh, even if they had been damaged, I don't know that we would have lost out on much. But luckily, they weren't. I guess uh, the Roberto Alamo short print is probably the best card. We got unless I miss some sort of variation thing that maybe the, the probably the Judge is actually the, the best. <laughs> um, but the Roberto Alomar is a short print. Maybe the Trey Turner green. I don't know. Um, yeah, you let me know down in the comments. And let me know, of course, if I missed anything. I know there's like logo swaps or... I didn't, I mean, obviously there weren't any name missing nameplates. But I forget in what year the certain variations are. So there might be something I missed. I don't know. Uh, but also, let me know what you think down in the comments about Gypsy Queen not being a thing anymore. Would you like to see them bring it up back or is it is it too much? I mean... For me, I think you're between your between your heritage, your archives, um, your Allen and Ginter. Do you really need another like throwback product like Gypsy Queen? Now I don't know that Gypsy Queen should have been the one to go necessarily, but I feel like of those ones, it's probably the least uh, liked. It was probably the least liked. I don't know. But the thing is, you did get two on-card autos when you for per hobby box, so that that seemed, and it was something you generally usually affordable. So it's like I almost wish, in some regards, they got rid of Allen and Ginter and kept Gypsy Queen. But 
I mean, Heritage isn't going away. Archives, you know, I, I feel like they like using their old uh, stuff. Gypsy Queen, though, it's like, what was Gypsy Queen? You know, it's similar to Alan Ginter. It's like, I, is it, it, was it a thing? Is it a, was, was it a throwback? To, like, I don't even know what, like, is this supposed to, like, it's kind of a throwback product, but like, throwbacking to what? What is this throwbacking to? I don't even know. I mean, it might be. It might be something. I don't know. If you know, let me know. But anyways, I'm babbling now. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, stay safe. Have fun. Talk to you next time. Bye.